We don't usually talk about movies until after they come out, but tonight we're going to change that a little bit because we've got two new movies that are coming out here in just a few months from now. And uh, the first movie is going to be Iron Man 3, and the other one is going to be Star Trek Into Darkness. And both of them look very amazing. I, I got a chance to find a look at the trailers this morning, and the Star Trek one... Well, let let's talk about the uh, uh, Iron Man 3 movie first. Most sequels are generally... Wrong one. <laughs> there you go. The most sequels. <laughs> Welcome to the show, people. <laughs> Iron Man three. More for most sequels. Iron Man three is. It looks really good. I mean, when it comes to most sequels, they are generally pretty shitty. For example, I'll give you a perfect example: Police Academy. <laughs> They did sequel after sequel after sequel, and it just got worse. Yeah, but those were quality films. <laughs> yeah, if you were brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a horny teenager, whichever whichever came first. Those movies were pretty awful, actually. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was good. After that, they all kind of went <laughs> fresh. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I Actually, I, I liked, I liked uh, both uh, Iron Man movies and... Uh, there were parts of it that I didn't weren't the best, but overall I thought the, the video was really good, and the movie was actually uh, intriguing enough to keep watching. So, and Iron Man three, the, just from the trailers alone, uh, it just looked really good. Now, th there was one interesting thing between the two movies; both of them have something crashing into the ocean or water or whatever, and it's like, is this a new theme going on between the two, <laughs> or that everything's going water based now? Joe, your thoughts. Yeah, I believe it was Roger Ebert that once said uh, superhero is made by the supervillain. So supervillains are an essential part to the quality of a superhero story. And in Iron Man 3, it looks like Ben Kingsley will play the Mandarin, mm -hmm. which I'm told by my friend Delia, who is a bit of a comic book nerd, I uh, actually contacted her tonight about this. The Mandarin is a classic Iron Man nemesis mm -hmm. and has a history of giving Iron Man a run for his buck. Oh, good. And so it's going to be exciting to see Ben Kingsley portray him. Uh, there's some speculation as to uh, how into the, like, the power rings they're going to go with this. But uh, I was also reading that there's going to be another villain in the movie played by Guy Pierce. He's going to be playing Dr. Aldrich Killian. Oh, that's who cool. Who is some kind of mad scientist. And uh, he's going to invent some kind of like nanites or something. And that's going to be, you know, uh, you, a real You got more thing. about it than I did anyway. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I actually went and read a little bit about it. And, and I contacted my friend. She's really excited about this movie. Oh. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, what better villain for a superhero scientist than an evil scientist? Uh, yes, you know? absolutely. You can't have a, you, a, a every good movie has an evil scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I know because we all know science is the work of the devil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hail Satan! Hail Satan! <laughs> Full of grace, do da do da. Uh, <laughs> uh, Michael, your thoughts? Did you get a chance to watch any previews or check it out? Nope. Oh, okay. we haven't got nothing over here yet. Oh, did you see uh, Iron Man one and two? Yeah, I saw Iron Man one and two, and to be honest, I wasn't that impressed. Mm. Um, it's it's I'm a, I'm a bit of a comic book fan myself, mm -hmm. but I was I've never even with the comic books ever been impressed with Iron Man at all. Oh, so you're just biased against Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> He's an Iron Man hater. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. It's it's just Iron Man to me doesn't seem like a superhero. He just seems like a man in a suit that can do extraordinary things because of well, that'd be, technology. Oh, that'd be Batman too. Then yeah, he's a lot in common with Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he just that, he, that, only he can well. fly. I don't know Batman either. Yeah, well, ba well, the only difference between them is Batman can fly with, or he can fly without. Batman can't fly without a suit. <laughs> Batman needs a funny shaped airplane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I I could just imagine what Tony. Could you imagine if Tony Stark had an, his uh, an airplane instead of just flying around in a suit? It'd be a just big helmet head flying through the sky. Uh. <laughs> the Iron Man action figures actually come with vehicles for Iron Man to ride in, and I'm just like, what's the point of this? Doesn't every kid look at this and go, that's stupid? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's got a suit. Where, where does, you know, it should come with us a Ferrari. You know, is, he's a billionaire after Man, all. What, what does Iron Man need with a motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Steve, your thoughts? Well, I'm glad that we mentioned uh, Ben Kingsley and Guy Pierce because those are two of my very favorite actors in anything that they do, and it's always good to see them in things. And when I heard that Ben Kingsley was going to be uh, 
the villain in this, it, I instantly wanted to see it, even if I hadn't really been interested in it before. I was just like, oh, no shit, Ben Kingsley. Yeah. And But I'm interested to see it because I, I like the first Iron Man, I, and then The Dark Knight came out the same year, and I completely forgot about Iron Man. But, uh, <laughs> but, but I really Iron who? Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, well, at least they got it out early before everybody forgot about it. Yeah. Uh, but I really liked it, and then the second one was just sort of okay. I mean, I didn't hate it, but I could take it or leave it. Yeah. Uh, but the third one is interesting because they built to such a crescendo with uh, the Avengers movie. It seems mm-hmm. like that was that's what they were building towards. And now that that's over, they're kind of starting again. And it's almost like they're not just making another Iron Man movie. They're making a whole sequel to that yes. build up to the Avengers. So that, it'll be interesting to see how that goes, too. Yeah, it'd be nice to, where they tie this all in because I, I got to see the Captain America, move, or Captain America movie and then the Avengers movie and all that and and, and Thor. And they are seem to be all coalescing to one video. Well, they, they have. They did in the Avengers. Oh, yeah, I know. But I mean, right, I, that's right. what I'm saying is that, I mean, they're they're all building all these other movies into the Avengers. I mean, bringing all the characters out. And, and Steve is right. They're doing it again now because Iron Man... Three is coming out this year, so is Thor two, Captain America two. Oh, really? Uh, and yeah. I think they're going to add some new heroes to the next Avengers movie. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what we need. We need more heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there weren't nearly enough characters in the Avengers. That's right. Nice. <laughs>